Hi guys, I hope you're well. Thanks for joining me. My name is Gary Hurson. In my last video, I spoke about the importance of play because it contributes to our well-being, it contributes to our development and the lack of play can lead to depression. In this video, I want to continue talking about play, but I want to talk about the connection between playfulness and creativity because they are connected. So what is it to be playful? I recently read a quote that said to be playful is to create something new out of that which already exists. And to give an example of what I mean, I'm sure you've been to a young child's birthday party where they've received lots of gifts and when the time comes for them to open the gifts, they put the toys to one side and they start to play with the boxes. They make a fort, they build a ship or they imagine that they in a motor car driving around a racetrack. They create something new out of that which already exists. We get different types of play. There's imaginative play where we are making up stories in our head, we're writing down stories, we're drawing pictures on a piece of paper, we are visualizing stuff. There's outdoor rough and tumble play where we're playing games with our friends, play fighting, throwing the ball with our dog, just being playful actively. There's object, object play where we are playing with something like Lego um, or Meccano, we're building something, we're just playing with it, using our imagination and creating something new out of it. The thing about play, the really cool thing about play is that it's usually spontaneous. We're not told to play. Um, it's not results driven. When we start to play, we become spontaneous. We extend on the game. We want to further the fun or have more fun, so we continue playing. The more we play, the more present we become. We stop forgetting about who we are and what other people think of us. We stop thinking about our day-to-day -day worries. We become very present very much in the moment we become open to ideas and we connect to flow creativity on the other hand is it's solving a problem it's making a connection it's creating a piece of art writing a story taking a unique photograph or just taking a photograph that's creativity but to be creative we need to try new things we need to be curious we need to be prepared to be wrong we need to push the boundaries the thing about creativity is that it works best when we are in a relaxed state of mind. I'm sure that you've had a problem to solve or you try to create something new and the more you think about it, the more anxious you become, the less the ideas begin to flow. It's because we're not in a relaxed state of mind. Then we go for a walk, we jump in the shower and all of a sudden the, the answers come to us when we're, more, when we're more relaxed. And that's where the art of play and creativity go hand in hand. If we are able to play more with a problem or an idea, treat it as an adventure as opposed to something that has to be solved, all of a sudden we become more lighthearted, we become more spontaneous, we start enjoying it, we see it as a game and the ideas start to flow. So ultimately, the more we play, the more we can be creative. And the win-win is that it turns into a fun adventure as opposed to something that has to be done, something that has to be achieved, something that that is results driven it's just this colorful act of play thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video until the next one cheers